Well, after building a real ship in a bottle, a local man had an idea to do it again, but this time completely out of Legos. And guess what? Lego is taking notice. Fox 9's Lacey Darrow has this exclusive story. More than a year ago, after building a real ship in a bottle, Jacob Sadovich got the crazy idea to do it again. But this time, he wanted to do it in a less than traditional fashion. He decided to try to build it completely out of Legos. I came up with the idea first, and I had actually puzzled over it for about a year before I started building it, thinking, can I do it, can I not do it, I'm not sure. Jacob knew with an idea like this, he had to shape up or ship out. So, brick by brick, he planned, ordered parts, and started constructing, and set sail on his design. I design stuff in my head, and then I try and figure it out. And if it's not working, I have to try something else. Either it's done and it looks cool or it gets scrapped. Around 18,000 Lego pieces later, it was ready to cast away. It took about three weeks to build. Jacob posted a photo of his vessel on Facebook and positive feedback started sailing in, including some suggesting he should take the helm and head starboard towards the Lego Idea website. I had never looked into it before, but you just go on and, you know, they want some nice presentable pictures. So you'll upload your pictures and you'll do a little write up on it and then you submit it. If people like it, they can vote on it. And if it hits 10,000 votes, Lego will look into having it made into an actual set that can be purchased at the store. Jacob easily hit the 10,000 vote mark. So now, Lego is going to review his design. They have the designers look at it and they kind of, I think part of it is quality, make sure that it meets their quality standards. They kind of do some market research on it too, I believe. and sort of that kind of review process. If Jacob's design makes it through Lego's review, they'll make instructions, create the packaging, and ship it off to be sold on shelves in stores around the world. And that would be awesome. I think they give you like five copies of the set, and then you get 1% on the sales of it, which would be wicked sweet. Depending on how many sets are sold, it could add up to some serious cash, which Jacob says will be put towards his passion. I can afford more Lego, for sure. I'll still be building, so <laughs> building and working. Lacey Darrow, Fox 9 News at 9. And for all the parents with Legos under the Christmas tree, we know how expensive it can be.